Hi, my name is Tom Hadigan. I'm the author and creator of a new YouTube channel dedicated to MMA and boxing. Uh, today we're looking at the celebrated Japanese multi-world titleist world champion uh, Inoue. He's announced a new matchup against the Australian boxer Sam Goodman. So let's just remind ourselves how celebrated this champ is. He is the undisputed super bantamweight champion with four current belts. Sam is is hoping to access those um, on December the 24th. Let's remind ourselves, what are his achievements? Undisputed Championship, he's held the Super Bantamweight and the Bantamweight Undisputed Championships. He's also been World Titleist in Light Flyweight, Junior Bantamweight, Unified Bantamweight, and he's held the Lineal Championship, Bantam Championship. These are his four belts. Mike Tyson, who knows a little bit of thing or two about boxing calls him the monster um, he's a Japanese professional boxer born in 1993 this is the most amazing statistic I think he possesses a knockout to win percentage of 89.28 percent and a knockout to win percentage in world title matches of 91.30 percent which means that 91 percent of his opponents in world championship matches which of course he's won them all um, He's victorious by knockout. He's the first undisputed championship uh, bantamweight champion since Enrique Pinda in 1972. I'll leave the other facts for you to look through if you choose. Now this is um, a picture of um, Inoue fighting uh, one of his great opponents, Donaire. Now he beat Donaire twice. We'll be looking at those in a little while. Now, this is the formidable record. These are the details. Now, Inoue has beaten four current world champions, McDonnell, Rodriguez, Butler, and Fulton. He has beaten three former world champions, included this outstanding athlete, Nonito Donaire. He's also beaten Jason Maloney and Marlon Tapeles. So of these 12 victories, seven have been against world champions, current world champions, or ex-world champions. Now, what can we say about his style? Well, he's very distinctive. He has these debilitating body shots, which are, I think, unique in boxing. He has unorthodox combinations and his ability to seamlessly transition between different punches with both hands adds to his offensive arsenal. He has relentless aggression. He has unbridled power. Look at his knockout ratio. His knockout power is quite exceptional. He has good counterpunching and he's very agile. Now, he has an interesting training regime. He spars daily. He, uh, a significant portion of his training is dedicated to body punching combinations. He focuses a lot on the importance of staying alert and on guard. And uh, his technical drills uh, make up a very large part of his training regime. Now, this is um, Inoue versus Donaire 1, Nonito Donaire. Uh, now, this uh, was a very interesting matchup. In fact, um, Inoue suffered a fractured orbital bone, but he managed to knock down Donair in the 11th round. He just got the victory, 116-11 and 114-13, but also um, his opponent also won one of the rounds, 109 to 117. Now this is um, the second uh, matchup. The rematch between Inoue and Donaire took place in Saitama, Japan. This time Inoue delivered a dominant performance winning by a second round uh, knockout. So there's good reason for Mike Tyson to consider him to be the monster. Now this is his opponent. Let's find out a little bit about Sam Goodman. Well, uh, his last 10 bouts we can say there's one feather in his cap. TJ Doheny was an ex-world champion. Um, the rest of them are good professionals. He's fought, I think, all of them or most of them in Australia. So let's say what we can say about Sam. He's, uh, he's had several standout performances in his career. His debut victory was a good victory against the Thai veteran Warawachai Bunian. He won the WBO Oriental title by beating Richie Mapranian. He won the IBF Intercontinental 
title by beating Fumi Afuzi. His victory over DJ Doheny is one of his most notable because Doheny was a, an ex-world champion. He won the IBF final eliminator against Raiz Alim. That put him in a position to challenge Inoue. And he continued his winning streak with victories over Miguel Flores and Chinoy Warawood. Now, what are Goodman's strengths? Well, he has a strong punch. He's honed his boxing technique. Uh, his ability to maintain a high pace is clearly there. He has completed, uh, competed in multiple weight classes. He has an undefeated record of 19-0 weaknesses. He's a little injury prone, had a significant hand injury. But the most important significant factor is that he has yet to face some of the top fighters in the division. He tends to be a home bird. He tends to fight in Australia. I mean, taking on someone like Inoue in Japan, that's not your kindest uh, way of starting, you know, high powered uh, boxing. So what can we say? Um, Inoue is an outstanding boxer, one of the once in a generation boxers. I think he's with Bud Crawford, I think, um, and uh, Alexander Usek. I think they are once in a generation fighters. I don't think we'll ever see uh, fighters of that ilk. Well, not immediately. So do I take uh, Inoue to win? Yes, I do.